Hello, my name is Mike Ralston and I'm a member of Team Norvice and today I'm going to show you how to tie the Ugly Bug Stonefly Nymph. This is a very simple and easy fly to learn how to tie and it has minimal materials. Let's go ahead and get started. Today I'll be tying on a Lightning Strike Stonefly Nymph hook in a size 6 with a 4.0 brass bead. I'm going to start off with my lead, which is going to be about 3 inches of 035 lead wire, and I'm going to make nice tight wraps all the way forward on the hook. Alright, go ahead and we'll take that lead and we'll push it up into the bead, and then we will flatten out this tag end of lead at the very rear. Now we will take our Vivis 140 denier thread and we will create a thread dam right behind the butt of the lead and work our way back to the barb. All right, we will take a silly leg for our tail. And use a loose wrap to secure it just enough so we can move it around and decide where we actually want to place it before we do any secure wraps. So we'll do one, two light ones. All right, that's pretty good. So now we'll start wrapping forward to secure the leg. And then we will take the other half of that silly leg and bring it back towards the rear, stretch it out so we don't create as much bulk and wrap back over just like that and then wrap forward to the butt of the lead and then we will cut these to the same size about an inch inch and a half all right next we'll take our copper wire and we will butt one end of the copper wire to the lead and take some Take a couple securing wraps because we want to get our chenille also lined up. Alright, and so what I'm doing right now to prepare the chenille is I am stripping some of the fibers, about an inch worth, off of the cord so we have a nice small low profile place to secure the material to the body so we're going to go ahead and make a couple loose wraps figure out where we want it and then start working our way back making nice tight touching wraps fully securing the chenille to the shank of the hook now we're going to work our way back forward and do a half hitch so we can use the rotary. Alright. Now we will take some super glue and we're going to super glue the entire base of the material so that when we wrap our chenille, it's an extra safeguard from it unraveling while fishing it. All right, now we're gonna make one complete turn and then we're gonna start doing touching wraps all the way forward to the front of the hook. And then what I like to do when we get to the front is I like to do two back and then two forward again. That way we can build a nice taper for the body. And then I do two behind and then two in front and that secures my chenille. Next thing is we're going to take our copper ribbing and we're going to counter wrap that in the opposite direction for five wraps. So one, two, three, four, five. 
Again, two behind, two for in front. And give that a trim. Okay, now we're gonna take another silly leg. And we will do one loose wrap to secure it so it doesn't fall out of place. Take another silly leg for the other side. And do the same thing, one single wrap so it doesn't move around too much while we're trying to figure out where we want it. Okay, and then once we have them where we want them, we will make one two in between, and then two in front. And we will then take our, I always take hackle pliers or my CDC clip with the silly legs and so I can get a good whip finish. And then one, two, three, four. Trim. And then we'll take our UV glue and we'll build a shell, a little wing case. Okay, we'll rotate that and get the bottom. Alright, and now is a good time if you want to trim your legs to grab them all at one time. Kind of stretch them a little bit and then cut them all at the same point. And there we have it. The Ugly Bug Stonefly Nymph. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.